Hey, you want to do this? Hmm? Mm. Should we do it? No? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally doing this video which is quite popular on YouTube right now. It's called reacting to your assumptions about me. Um, I thought about whether I wanted to do this or not. I figured it's like a more interesting way of doing like a Q&A. Anyways, just like everyone else, I put up a post on my Insta story. This is what I got. The very first one is, you like pineapples on your pizza. Actually, I don't really like pineapples on anything. I just generally don't like pineapples at all. The only thing that I could kind of deal with pineapples on is like if they're in like a fruit trifle or something. And maybe sometimes on cake, but that's about it. I don't really generally like pineapples that much. Definitely don't like them on pizza. The next one is, you love to eat biryani. Is it a coincidence that all of these are about food? I do love biryani. I like biryani a lot. But I like the one that is made at home. Especially the kind that my mom cooks. I love that biryani. I remember in fashion weeks back in the day when I used to participate as a model. They used to serve biryani. And then they used to complain about how the models are overweight. And I used to be thinking, but you're serving biryani. And then you're actually complaining about our weight. Huh? You would never want Magul to be on TV. Because I have put up on some of my YouTube videos but it's different on YouTube because I have the creative control and then I would really feel more comfortable in adulthood she makes her own choices <laughs> like I've really seen a lot of kids that come straight from school onto drama sets I think that when they time to actually go home and rest up and take a nap and play around and you know then work on their homework I feel like a lot of that time gets wasted and yes your studies do get affected You're an angry person If somebody crosses a line, I am a fire sign That rhymes But yeah, if, if somebody really crosses a line or pushes me I am a Leo, so just don't take me there because it's not a happy place for the person on the receiving end or for the person who is being tested, but it takes a lot for me to get there. A lot. So the next assumption about me is you are down to earth and a great actress and mother side by side. Oh, shukriya. So nice of you. I think when you get to know me, you will see that I am down to earth. I'm so humble, down to earth. Sometimes I do uh, get to hear from people initially when people met me, so they thought that I was not down to earth. They had an assumption about me that I was not down to earth. When they got to know me a little bit better, then they realized that, wait a minute, they were actually shocked to see how down to earth I was. I always find myself being super considerate about other people's feelings, what to say, what not to say when to say it and I make an extra effort to try to not offend anyone however I have to keep it real so sometimes my honesty does come out just that I am not down to earth but when they do get to know me they then change their kind of perception about me or uh, you know down to earth you are a strict wife hmm I don't know, why don't we ask Ali what he thinks? Am I a strict wife? Not at all. What's a strict wife? I've heard that there's a strict mother or a strict father. Are you strict? I Are guess you strict with me? I don't know, you tell me. What do you think? No. Am I strict? No. Like, do I ever stop you from doing anything? Of course, all the time. <laughs> then but that doesn't mean... Strict? No, but that doesn't mean it's strict. But what do I stop you from doing? Why do I have to tell you over here? I think I am somebody that advises you on what to do and what not to do but I don't ever force you to do it, right? strictly wife. <laughs> a TV star who likes to cook. Yes, that is very true. I do like to cook. When I get free time, I look forward to going to the grocery store, buying ingredients and trying to cook up something new every time because I feel like cooking is really therapeutic. I, I think any creative person would love to kind of like, you know, select different ingredients and then mix them all together and see kind of what happens. The next one is you are an introvert. Am I an introvert? I think I I am sometimes an introvert. But that's not because I don't like people. I love people. In fact, I love sort of like 
meeting with people, socializing. I love getting different perspectives. I feel like जब अलग-अलग type के लोगों से मेरी मुलाकात होती है तो मुझे बहुत ज़्यादा inspiration भी मिलती है, motivation भी मिलती है. But yes, कभी-कभार your energy is so drained. Um, and when other people are meeting you, they're not intentionally trying to drain more of your energy. वो जानबूझ के आपकी energy drain नहीं करना चाह रहे. But naturally, when you're sharing things about yourself, when you're listening to other people, their problems, just general things, I feel like me being the type of person I am, I like to sort of be a good listener when I'm meeting with people, and then I also like to kind of give back. If it's not advice, then I do like to at least. Respond in a nice way. So when you're feeling like you're really tired and completely exhausted and you really have nothing Positive to give that's sort of when I go into my little hole and I'm kind of like oh, I don't want to meet with anyone. I don't want to show my face. So yeah, that's partially true I think the next one is you are a super fun person I think I'm super fun when I want to be and sometimes I can be boring as well. Again, some of those times where I feel like my energy is completely drained. That's the reason that I don't want to uh, meet with people because I don't want them to think that I'm not fun or I don't want to want them to have fun. Um, but yes, I love having fun. You look very much American. Hmm. I can see why you think that. Uh, mainly because I have grown up in America. I think uh, that because of the fact that I grew up in America, maybe that has contributed to me being a certain way, speaking a certain way, maybe dealing with situations in a certain way. But at the same time, I was born in Pakistan. I was eight years old when I left for America. Then I moved back about eight years ago. So I would say I'm 50-50, but jo zyadatar mera school time and growing up wala part wo America mein guzar hai, to uski wajah se I think logon ko lagta hoga ki mere bolne ka style or just the way I am seems more American so yeah I mean you know a lot of times people do uh, tell me on my channel in the comments that please speak more Urdu or I'm trying to say that I'm Urdu more Urdu my channel is meant for the entire world I'm not only trying to just show my videos to people in Pakistan but I'm also targeting people all over the world so they can also see what my life is in Pakistan and for them to understand sometimes how great things are here and how I've chosen to move from the States and come back to Pakistan. For that, I do need to speak in English at times so that people all over the world watch my videos. You are high maintenance. I don't think I'm high maintenance, but yes, I do like nice things. But I try to make sure that I can get it for myself, you know? I like things that are hygienic, I like things that are clean. I'm also a minimalist, which means that I don't necessarily like things that are always like super ultra luxurious or like gaudy or uber fancy or things like that if i ever show you guys my wardrobe yes there are a lot of things in it but as an actor because in pakistan as an actor you're supposed to or expected to majority of the times do your wardrobe yourself so we have to have a lot of things and then i don't have that many designer things i like simple t-shirts i like blue jeans i like to wear solid colors, I like to mix and match, I have a lot of separates and so no, I don't think I'm that high maintenance, I, I just I just have a more simpler taste and I like more timeless kind of things which don't have to be expensive. It's more about your choice rather than what designer it is or what brand it is. Several days later. Hey guys, so I'm back. I had to continue from where I left off because I lost the light that day. So I didn't get to finish all of the assumptions or reacting to all of the assumptions you guys had about me. So I decided to continue from where I left off. I got a new haircut. So I'm doing this new television project and I thought that I should change my look because my long bob completely grew out and it wasn't, like I wasn't able to style it in any particular way so I thought I should just get a few layers around my face, which I did. Ooh, Marvel is up. I'll be right back. Okay. So let's finish where we were at. You are so beautiful in real as on screen. Well, here I am on the screen again, so I guess you won't really know. I assume that you love fashion and want to be on top of the list. What list? So first of all, I do love fashion. That being said, I think what you meant is, do I want to be at the top of the list in the fashion industry? Um, so my answer to that is I was never part of 
the rat race so i feel like everyone has their own journey their own struggle and no my motivation is never to be on top of any list my motivation is to be sort of on top of my own game and for me the benchmark is not what others are doing it's mostly seeing self-improvement and myself as a person you are a nerd yes actually i am a nerd because i've always been into technology and gadgets because i have so many interests be it music um, different musical equipment gadgets um, softwares apps so yeah, I, I am into a lot of nerdy things. Before I got into full-time acting and modeling, I used to live in Dallas, Texas, and over there, when I first started my university, I was a computer science major. I did like, I think, three semesters of that, and uh, then I decided that I'm gonna change my major to advertising and communications. And so, you know, I learned different softwares like Photoshop, and I did a lot of graphic design work, and I had uh, a job as an art director in a company where I was responsible for designing the user experience and information architecture and the interface design, all that kind of nerdy stuff. So yes, in short, I am a nerd. <laughs> Is mommy a nerd? <laughs> The next one is awesome DJ wasting time in dramas. Um, you know, there are a lot of times that I think about it and I wonder if music is my destiny and if I should sort of give in to what my heart tells me, which is to do music and only music, whether it's music production or it's any kind of. Magu. Can I finish my video? Can I? Can I finish my video? At times I do think about whether I should be following my heart and dropping everything else and doing music. Music is something that requires a lot of time and uh, you have to be in the zone. There is something there in my heart where I feel like maybe, just maybe, that music is sort of, you know, what I was meant to do the entire time. The way I kind of picked up everything and moved to Pakistan in 2010 because my heart was telling me that I should be here Maybe something like that will happen one day where I'll just drop everything and I'll just focus on music. I can't music. Mago, should I do music? Should Mama do music? Yes. She thinks so. Alright guys, well that's all I have for you in this video. Hope you guys liked it and if you did, hit the thumbs up button and let me know in your comments if you have any other video ideas or any other assumptions about me. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time.